This is called Artist's Prayer. Thank you, Eternal One, for giving the gift of creativity. Thank you. The new year comes on wings of silver and gold, inviting us to take a ride. She lifts us all on board and gives us a smile, calling us to come inside, calling us to come inside. The old year now has passed, it's gone on its way, taking all our troubles and our pain. The new year lets us dream our dreams once more and records us once again and restores us once again. Ring the bells, ring the bells, ring the bells. Ring the bells, ring the bells. Oh, spring has come again with its promise of hope. New buds are pushing up through the ground. Time to work the plow and plant the seeds. Another season has come round. Another season has come round. over autumn's coming dear time to take the harvest from the land i feel the chilly wind upon my back winter soon will be at hand winter soon will be at hand It's gone on its way. We'll raise another glass of wine. The new year comes again and invites us all on board and takes our dreams along one more time. And takes our dreams along one more time. Ring the bells. My grandfather's horses. In my workroom, a black and white photo of my grandfather at 78, old shanks covered by jodhpur pants, mounted on Pendennis, his cranky quarter horse, buckskin hide and stiff black mane, trained in fancy steps by a New York City mounted cop. For years, my grandfather trotted out on Penny through the woods on long dirt roads, swatting his crop at hungry horseflies. Long ago, when I leaned against him, cradled by his humorous bulk, in a den full of children's books, 
of hunting prints and family photos. He embroidered stories about his life, the same topsy-turvy tales he told my mother when she was small and sober-eyed. Once upon a time, there was a tall, slender, handsome gentleman who had a short, fat, dumpy wife. <laughs> he courted my slender grandmother, a stout young man in casual coat, holding the reins of a strong-minded gelding who refused to woe when he pulled in on the lines. So he'd call out, carry, and keep on trotting, ready to scoop her up, long skirts and all, slim and prim, on his second time around the block. When he was 82, grizzled eyebrows spilling over used blue eyes, he told me he'd been born in horse and buggy times, and now they'd gone and shot an astronaut out beyond the sky. When you think about it, that's more than enough change for a man to handle in one lifetime. <laughs> He'd tried to give his buckskin horse away, but when the owners didn't ride her and she began to founder, he had to take her back and make her well again. That final winter, he asked the men at the stable to take his penny out and shoot her, blood clotting slowly on a golden hide. Two weeks later, he slept his own way out into the bottomless night. At the back of my closet, I keep the riding boots he gave me for the times I rode his stubborn penny. Boots chafed bare by the stirrup straps on her English saddle. And if I breathe deep, I can smell the tang of dried horse sweat beneath the aging layers of saddle soap. Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland goes clothes shopping. What size am I really? I am five feet two inches on my good days. It's been a while since I measured myself. It's been a while since I've been shopping for clothes and shoes. I'm older now. Baggy is comfortable, but not so stylish, if it ever was. I asked my daughter's best friend forever, I hope forever, to be my personal shopper, advisor, fairy godmother. Slim, petite, fashionista, home decor designer that she is, would like to be. Money is tight-er, I said. One hundred dollars, cash. I promised her a treat after. She wouldn't accept pay. Shopping is fun, she said. The Barnes & Noble Bookstore Starbucks Cafe thank you ticket got the okay. Young woman fairy godmother said, TJ Maxx coals are good. Two tops, size large, two dress jeans. One size 14 petite, the other, well, size 12 petite. One jacket. I went back later, in luck, it was still there, size extra large. Young woman fairy godmother advised a camisole under the tops, size large. The unplanned purchase, it was harder to say no. The perfect belt, size M, medium I presume. Young woman fairy godmother advised nice flat shoes. I already overspent, I made do with what I had for shoes. Some styles, I am a woman's size five, five and a half. Sometimes I buy in children's, depending on the style, or not. If the shoe fits, Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland. As for unmentionables, the last time I bought legs, it was Q for Queen. They sagged. Perhaps a victim of lately stretching, walking outside while the weather is still decent. It costs money for classes inside may have brought my legs down a size. Thank you, young woman, fairy godmother. Stylishly dressed, I went to wake up and smell the poetry, my red carpet event. I have to ask, in today's world, what size am I really? I went home after my stylishly dressed wake up and smell the poetry red carpet event and climbed back into my comfortable old baggy clothes. Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland still. Older now. Thank you.
I just want to read the, f the, the beginning uh, that I turn to every year. I have to. It just, um, it, 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 it's so good. Dylan Thomas's words on a child's Christmas in Wales. One Christmas was so much like another in those years around the sea town corner now. And out of all sound except the distant speaking of the voices, I sometimes hear a moment before sleep that I can never remember whether it snowed for six days and six nights when I was 12 or whether it snowed for 12 days and 12 nights when I was six. And that's how I always want to start getting into my poem of 1940s Christmases in Queens, New York. That's part of the missing. So we all have these wonderful images. Dylan Thomas really said it in the beginning. Thank you. Like chasing a shooting star Keep a firm grip on the throttle To wander ever so far Ride a bullet through the fire And see what can't be seen Be a twister spinning higher Than chasing an evil queen Surf a molten lava stream In the glow of a darkened night To hear a dreaded banshee scream Feel the sting of a vampire's bite Take a rocket ride to Mars And live there for a year Believe in life beyond the stars Never show your fear Lightning in a bottle Is one thing I've never seen Can't be caught by anyone Is it just a dream? Wastelands of the mind Aboard a laser beam To live out time as clocks unwind Just once upon a dream To hear the ocean as it roars Waves crashing endlessly To be an eagle as it soars the tallest tree Lightning in a bottle Is one thing I've never seen Can't be caught by anyone Is it just a dream?
letting all see you as you are to capture lightning in a bottle it's like chasing a shooting star lightning in a bottle it's one thing i've never seen can't be caught by anyone is it just a dream is it just a dream is it just a dream thank you it's your love. Love softens thundering boys, following bra. Love melt raising anger, seethed resentment. Love freezes frustration to serenity, impatient to patient. Love embraces all like a mother coming restless baby. Someday I hope that I can play guitar, but and yeah. Goes this way. Love soften thundering boys, following bra. Love melts raising anger, seethed resentment. Too. Love freezes. Prostration to serenity, impatient to patience. Love embraces all like a mother coming, less, less a baby. Happy holiday, everyone. <laughs> It's a poem by Grace Paley that I appreciate and didn't really know very well until last Saturday uh, when I read it at a tribute to Grace at, uh, in Cambridge. It's a poem about s storytelling and when she speaks of the first person, she's speaking of the first person narrator. A poem about storytelling. The artist comes next. She tells the story of the stories. The first person may be the child who says, listen, guess what happened? The important listener is the mother. The mother says, what? The first person can be the neighbor. She says, today my son told me goodbye. I said, really? Who are you? You didn't even say hello yet. <laughs> the listener is probably her friend. She remembers, well, wasn't he always like that? As a small boy, I mean. The neighbor says, that's not true. You're absolutely wrong. He was like a motorcycle. A little horse. Every now and then, at rest, a flower. The first person is often a lover who says, I never knew anyone like you. The listener is the beloved. She whispers, Who? Me? The first person is the giver of testimony. He rises and tells, I lived in that village. My father shouted. He returned from the fields. I was too small. My father cried out, why don't you grow up and help me? My mother said, help him. You're eight years old. It's time. The listeners say, oh, it was just like that. I remember. The giver of testimony rises and tells, I lived in the hut behind the barn. The padrone, 
the manager, the master came to me. I can take you whenever I want, he said. Now you're old enough. The right age is 12, he said. The giver of testimony rises. She looks into her village. She looks into the next village. Where are the listeners? The artist comes next. She waits for the listeners, too. What if they're all dead, or deafened by grief, or in prison? Then there's no way out of it. She will listen. It's her work. She will be the listener in the story of the stories. If only we could turn back time, unbreak a heart, uncross a line. If only we could turn back time, then maybe we could stay. Why can we be just like we were our younger years now all a blur? If only we could be like we were, then maybe we could stay. But the world, the world keeps changing. Yes, the world, the world keeps changing all the time. We'll win. This life's a game, we'll spin again. And when we stop, we'll start again. And maybe we could stay. When did we lose our innocence? That all is well, we're all made sense. If we could reclaim innocence, then maybe we could stay. But the world, the world keeps changing. Yes, the world, the world keeps changing all the time. We'll win, we'll lose, our hearts will mend. This life's a game, we'll spin again. And when we stop, we'll start again, and maybe we can stay. Thank you. This song is called um, One More Day. I am your servant, I live your life, my own life, it is past. Time still goes, but in this 25th hour, who can tell how long a minute will last? 
I do your bidding, I make your bed in your praise or your scorn. Time bend my will and in your violent way make me feel like I have never been born. Oh, oh this world, why did I let it come to be? Oh, There's no one here but you and me. Can't you see? Oh, can't you see? The house is empty, the window's gone. No grass grows through the floor No small animals to measure the time As we dance through that invisible door My feet can't feel the ground Your hand is cold A wind blows from the shore Hold me close, oh, I'm remembering now There was something I can't feel anymore Oh, oh, this world You bid me throw it all away Oh, this world It all changes now We cannot stay Peach and pear 